Hey everybody, it's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider Underworld. In the previous episode, we arrived in Helheim slash Avalon slash whatever you want to call it, and we made our way towards uh, the final underworld of the game. And in today's episode, we're we'll be collecting the last couple of rewards in this entire game. That treasure right there was the very last relic artifact thingy in the entire game. And now, we're we'll be going for the last relic. So, we're going to be making some major achievements in uh, this level right off the bat. It's going to be super amazing and awesome. Kind of like Laura. <laughs> Hooray for editing. And by editing, I mean lots and lots of editing. Because I've been having way more trouble than I care to admit trying to complete this simple puzzle. It's not that hard. I'm just having a lot of trouble with it, and I would blame the Let's Play Curse, but there's only so many times that you can do that before you start getting repetitive. But uh, the best advice I can offer is destroy the Thralls before they get too close to you. They are going to keep on coming, but uh, you can try limiting the numbers uh, so it'll be easier to navigate this area, because they have a couple attacks that will knock you off uh, these areas. Like that right there, if we were just a little bit too late or too early, um, getting off of this platform, then that spring attack would have certainly knocked us off. What the? There we go. <laughs> uh, that was a little weird. Um, but I'm gonna go over here. I'm getting. I'm admittedly getting a little bit nervous about uh, uh, jumping across this area because I've failed so many times trying to get to this area because of stupid thralls. I keep doing dumb attacks, uh, which keep hurting my feelings. But we will recover. We will not let this be emotionally traumatic. And I don't know why that jump right there keeps glitching, but it does, and see, like, cut teleports, and it's pretty funny. But anyway, we can go over here, climb across this area, and the, the final shiny object is going to be over here on this area. You may have seen this in a previous episode, but without further ado, let's go activate it. The only indication that uh, the anything happened when you tapped those uh, shiny things um, was that, like as you saw a moment ago, the camera kind of uh, shook around for a little bit. But uh, activating all those uh, shiny objects on the walls will give you access to the final relic. It's going to be a little bit tricky to do because I can never seem to get this jump right, at least not on my first try. So hopefully we'll be able to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Yeah. And right here is the final reward in Tomb Raider Underworld. And if it wasn't for the fact that I did a practice recording, we would have gotten the achievement for getting all the rewards um, in the game. Um, but without further ado, uh, actually I want to be a little bit lower for this. Uh, my best advice for this right here is uh, to press the B button rather than the A button to get off the grappling hook. Um, because pressing the... A button will make you jump, and you'll likely over jump the platform. So, best advice I can recommend is uh, the magical B button. Now, before we go in there, there's one more thing that I'd like to do real quick. I'd like to open up the PDA to show, first of all, we did get every reward in the Arctic Sea, and also we can go into inventory to check out treasures, and we can see we have every single treasure and every single relic in Tomb Raider Underworld. And that is such a good feeling. There's just, there are so many of them to collect, and I'm so happy that we got the last ones, but we're not done with this game yet. Because, so without further ado, we're going to be going through this area, and there are going to be a couple tough enemies we're going to be dealing with. Also, this slide right here, because you going to tell, that's going to be the point, excuse me, rude. That, sli that uh, slope right there is going to be the point of no return, so if you're going for 100% completion, make sure you get those rewards before you go down uh, that uh, platform. The game will likely autosave before um, when you start off the um, Yggdrasil level, so just keep that in mind. You should be able to load up the autosave over quick, although you don't want to rely on it because it's not always the most reliable thing in the world. But now that we're fighting our way through these thralls, we're in the final stretch for discovering the secrets that we've been uh, hunting for all these years. Without further ado. Our final objective is just up ahead. Mother? Mother, 
It's me. It's Lara. And I've never seen such delicious irony. When I heard what happened to the wife of the great Richard Croft, I knew I could set him on a desperate quest to find what I desired most. Then he betrayed me in Thailand, and for that, I killed him myself. But when you showed up with Thor's gauntlet, I knew I could send you off in your father's footsteps, confident they would lead us to this very spot. You seem to have forgotten what I would be holding. When I made this creature for Amanda, she had no idea that my true purpose was to have the means to destroy you at this very moment. The two of you never suspected that you were mere actors in my play. And so it ends. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a serpent to raise. you off, but the Midgard Serpent will tear the world apart, and only Thor's hammer can stop it. So, I'll hold him off. Yggdrasil. The world tree and binding element of all nine worlds of the North Universe. Supposedly, Helheim was situated under the roots of Yggdrasil. There is another myth that a great serpent, Nikhorg, gnaws at the roots of Yggdrasil. Possibly, this is another manifestation of the Midgard serpent, which supports the theory that this site houses something monstrously world threatening. Norns. The Norns were female deities who governed the fate of men, and, in various cultures, including Greek, were often represented as three young women, young, middle-aged, and old, who represent the past, present, and future. Somewhat indistinguishable from Valkyries, they also resided beneath the roots of Yggdrasil and wove the tapestry of existence, leading all the way to the end of the world. <laughs> 